Hello and welcome to Amplify Coffee Chat. Come along and join us as we explore how worship looks like for ministries and believers in Singapore. Hi everybody, welcome to a brand new series of Amplify Coffee Chat and I'm Douglas here and today in this series we want to talk about different forms of worship. Like, you know, we always know worship in church is like, you know, we have the worship band and, you know, we sing songs and that to us is like worship or in a worship service, you know, there's a, there's preaching and there's the offering and all that kind of stuff. But today in our series, we want to talk about other forms of worship. And there are many forms of worship that uh, people do to express worship and even to outreach to people. And today, our special guest, we have Ling Jia Hao from the Fireplace Collective here with us to share about what the Fireplace Collective is all about and what kind of worship do they do. So welcome to the show, Jia Hao. Thank you, Douglas, and thank you for inviting me for this uh, Amplify Coffee Chat. We're having a chill-out time here <laughs> and relaxing, and but really sharing our hearts. So um, my name is uh, Jia Hao, and I'm from the Fireplace Collective. We are a creative missions agency, and our desire is to be able to use music and media as creative vehicles whereby we can share testimonies about who God is, how He has loved us, how He has healed us, how He has restored us, so that in these creative digital content and forms are being released over the airwaves and in the digital space that they will touch lives and draw people towards Jesus. Wow. And I think this is something pretty new in the sense like it's only about maybe a decade or or two decades ago that, you know, social media starts to evolve or give birth. And, you know, we have stuff like videos and and kind of um, like uh, Instagram or Facebook. So you guys are jumping on this uh, social media, like media creative bandwagon. How, how did this all start off? Um, it was actually very interesting because it was from a personal journey. Um, I have been on a journey of seeking the Lord for what He's calling me to do in my life. And there was one particular point where I felt that God wanted to birth or start such a creative missions agency. And I was having a conversation with my wife and we were talking to one another. And because we were still seeking the Lord, in terms of where we are to go, um, we were still trusting the Lord to provide finances for us to be able to do His ministry. Um, when this desire came up, I shared it with my wife and my wife said, if this is from the Lord, uh, we will trust Him to provide us with $5,000 by the end of the week. So I do not know whether she was really like hearing from God or taking it seriously, but I guess she was. Um, after those words came up from her mouth, um, less than 10 minutes later, um, a friend calls me on the phone and I go to take his call, pick up the phone and basically on the other side of the line, he says, oh, um, my wife and I felt led by the Lord to bless you with $1,000 every month for the next six months. So within 10 minutes of those words um, coming up from my wife, this happened. So we knew that... Um, that this was what the Lord had wanted us to do. Yeah, so um, and so even though we did not fully um, like uh, understand the f like the full picture of what a creative missions agency will look like, uh, but we took that as the first step and we started to build this ministry. Mm. So it first started off with fireplace worship, right? Um, that is more of like a personal journey for myself. Mm. Uh, Fireplace Worship is actually a um, organic community of uh, musicians and mm. creatives who are from the industry. Mm. And we as like Christians, we would come together and we would uh, worship, uh, fellowship. And out of uh, this group, um, there were two other uh, friends uh, who, who've joined uh, me together for this uh, crazy adventure. Uh, so they are the co-founders, Joshua Tan and uh, Priscilla Tan. Mm. And so the Lord spoke to the three of us uh, to start a ministry mm. called the Fireplace Collective. 
why Fireplace Collective? Um, the name Fireplace actually came a few years ago where the Lord spoke uh, into my heart. And the desire of a fireplace is really to draw people uh, from all walks of life, um, in different journeys, uh, in their faith, uh, whether they are broken, whether they're struggling, whether they're far, whether they're near, mm-hmm. but towards a fireplace where it's a safe place, um, where there's warmth, where there's security, where people can be authentic and basically be who they are. And the beautiful thing is, as we can be as real and as authentic with God, um, He, in the same way, will be so real uh, and, 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 and He will reveal Himself to us mm. yeah, in those moments of our encounter. Mm. Yeah. Wow, wonderful. So to date, right, uh, since Fireplace uh, Collective started, what, what were the things that you guys have done, the events, the milestones or achievements? So we basically are um, in the music and media space. So we have been working with uh, churches and groups mm. to do music videos, um, working uh, towards a short film. So where where we actually write songs um, that are for specific events uh, or specific campaigns, and then after that uh, we work with our friends you know to get the music produced yeah Mm. Um, and as well we have done uh, graphic design uh, logo design Mm. and also on our own platform we have been uh, creating content yeah to reach out to people Mm. yeah so what is actually like uh, the vision or goal for fireplace so the vision and goal for the fireplace collective um, is that we want to find all these stories uh, whether we are helping other people create uh, those stories using music and media or we are creating stories on our own platform using music and media um, as creative vehicles um, to use those things to reach out to people so they can be short films they can be music videos they can be testimonies Mm. they can be songs that we release but in all these different forms to share stories of how God has been real in our lives, whether through difficult circumstances, pain, uh, whatever it may be, um, that these stories will reach the hearts of people and draw them to God. Mm, amazing, beautiful. Are there any testimonies that that um, you know that came out while you are doing all these? Yeah, um, you know, we released like our, our own music uh, on this um, online digital. Uh, content that we have been releasing called the Amber Sessions where we would sit around and we would have conversations uh, about God and share testimonies as well as for every uh, episode we release an original song uh, that we write or our guests that we invite writes and as we have done those songs we have seen like people's responses and people um, do respond to say you know they like this song and or oh, it was it was so good and I remember one particular uh, story, you know, where a f- person who listened to the song and I, and I know the person, um, and I'm yeah, perhaps the person is a pre-believer. And after listening to the song, uh, she said, you know, this song like brought tears to my eyes, you know, and and that's the power of music, mm-hmm. and it basically creates an open door, I guess, for um, the gospel to come into her heart, uh, mm-hmm. for her to get to know God. Yeah. And I guess there are many people out there who have yet to share their yeah, testimony possibly, with you. Yeah. Probably they're touched in, in amazing ways, one way or another. Mm. And I think I, I, I saw a couple of the Amber sessions and I'm really very blessed also because the songs are written by the songwriter and I think the way the songs are being written is very honest, very raw, and each has their own story behind it. And I think people can relate it uh really well to through the songs and I think that is also a form of worship you know uh, relating to people uh, helping people to connect to God in their own ways I think that's a very beautiful thing um, just want to ask what are the challenges that you face so far in you know in running uh, Fireplace Collective um, the challenges would be maybe in the teething phase I guess mm. it will be the same for any companies or ministries uh, to to grow our focus 
uh, even more, e- even uh, in the things that we are doing to serve the community mm-hmm. and to be able to create these stories. So we are definitely um, constantly like uh, in the process of trying to like focus in on the things that God wants us to do because there are many things that we can do. Um, and it's also a very practical reason because uh, you have to steward your resources well and you can't like spread them all over and try to do everything. Mm. So I think in this first year, and actually that's, um, we just crossed our one year mark. Oh, yeah, congrats. Which is to really um, further refine our vision mm. and also to um, be able to allocate sufficient resources to do what God wants us to do. Is there any like uh, stigma that people have of you guys? Like, what are you guys doing? Like, why are you doing this? Yeah, for sure. I, I think that... Uh, uh, like in starting something new people would have questions mm. like what are you about what is it that you do mm. and um, I think it's not so much of a stigma as opposed to like trying to find out like you know what is this about because I hear about it mm. I hear people talk about it but I still don't know fully what it's about yeah which is also a very good feedback for us which means that you know okay let's sharpen our focus mm. so that um, yeah like we may uh, like come forth clearly to people so that they know how they can partner with us mm. and I think part of it being the first year a lot of production works are still in the midst of happening mm. so once those uh, finished content has been released uh, I think people will get a clearer picture of the things that we do mm, cool so what do you find that you need in this ministry you know, is it manpower? Is it finance? What do you find that you you need it? Yeah, I think um, yeah. Firstly, like volunteers, and um, and I will put it more like uh, people who are willing to do internships, because mm. we 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 look for people who can serve in this area, uh, who can do social media, mm. uh, who can do project management, mm. who are good with uh, video editing or shooting um, yeah so we would love like people who have a heart to serve the Lord with these areas or skill sets that they have and to use it to reach out to people and yeah, we would love to have these interns on board um, as well as um, finances because when we release uh, like our own content mm-hmm. um, on our own digital platform um, like we basically do it um, out of our own cost yeah, so we would love like people who believe in what we're doing and using like our digital platform to release content into basically a digital mission field, if you like, mm-hmm. because you know, digital content goes out to like all the nations. Mm-hmm. It crosses boundaries. Um yeah, even in Singapore, like seventy percent of people here are locked onto a platform mm-hmm. and all over the world, like so many people mm-hmm. are as well. So if people, uh, if there are people who believe in what we're doing and are willing to fund us to create more content mm. on our own platform, to reach out to people, mm. uh, could be short films, could be music videos, could be short uh, song videos, can be testimonies. Um, we would love to like partner with people mm. who would love to financially give to us in this area. Wow. And if they want to do that, how can, can they do it? Where can they find you? Yeah, um, uh, if they want to do it, they can always uh, firstly follow us on uh, Instagram at the Fireplace Collective and they can always communicate with us um, through our DMs. Uh, just drop us a text or they can uh, email us at uh, hello at the Fireplace Collective.com. And if you want, they want to find out more info, they can also go to your website which is www.thefireplacecollective.com. That's right. All right. Thank you so much, Tiana, awesome. for your time to share with us uh, the heartbeat behind the Fireplace Collective and what is it all about and uh, the struggles also. You know, sometimes uh, I love these honest talks and um, sometimes people don't really know what it is all about, what we go through. And thanks for taking time to share with us. And I uh, hope that our listeners here can have a better idea what the Fireplace Collective is all about. And if they want to volunteer or if they want to give to this ministry, you can uh, check out check out the Fireplace uh, on their Instagram or on their website or on the details in the description. 
of this podcast. So thank you so much for your time. Thanks to everyone for listening in. And we hope to see you in the next episode of Amplify Coffee Chat. Thank you. God bless. Thank you.